Hello, Lil Red Riding Hood. Today we're going to talk about astrology and the synodic cycle of Venus. Now I've made a video called the introduction to the Venus synodic cycle. Um, you can find it on my YouTube, my TikTok, etc. Uh, but today we're going to be talking about an example. We're going to be using an example to illustrate what I do with the synodic cycle of Venus uh, in an astrological context. And today's examples are Abraham Lincoln and his wife, Mary Todd Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln was born in February of 1809. That makes him a black two interval, uh, which is a setting B phase. And Mary Todd Lincoln was born in December of 1818 during a red two interval setting C phase. Now, we don't know what time either of them were born. We can't construct proper timed horoscopic charts for either of them. However, using the synodic cycle of Venus, we can glean some very important information about their lives, astrological information that pertains to their lives that we can use just in its own right or also if we want to do something like rectify their charts. This is the kind of uh, knowledge that makes rectification a lot easier and uh, a lot more likely to succeed. We'll start with Mary Todd Lincoln. So Mary Todd is a red two interval setting C phase. The red two interval is the Venus retrograde in Sagittarius, which she has in her birth chart. It's the red one interval that seems to outline the contours of her timeline, uh, corresponding to some of the really important events in her life. For instance, in July of 1825, her mother, Eliza Parker Todd, uh, died giving birth to her sixth child, which uh, I believe she was 31. And uh, Mary at the time was about six and a half. So she lost her mother very young. 24 years later, in July of 1849, Mary's father died uh, during a red one interval. And then in April of 1865, during a red one setting B, she was sitting next to her husband Abraham in Ford's theater when he was shot from behind and died the next morning. So to summarize, Mary is a red two, but her mother died during a red one, her father died during a red one, and her husband died during a red one. Rather horribly, I might add. Now, Abraham Lincoln was a black two setting B, although by secondary progression, his chart would have progressed into the red one interval over time. But that's for another day. Um, just to talk about it in his case, <clears throat> in Abraham's case, it's actually the Red 2 transit that seems to be the really uh, big one in his life. First of all, uh, his wife, Mary Todd uh, Lincoln, <laughs> was born during a Red 2 interval, as I've been talking about. But he also married her in November of 1842 during a Red 2 Venus synodic interval. And one of their children, Willie, was born during the Red Two interval of 1850. And Lincoln's father died in January of 1851 during a Red Two interval. And finally, his mother, Nancy Hanks Lincoln, died of milk poisoning in October of 1818, about two months before Mary Todd was born. And she died not during the Red Two interval, but just nine days before the Red Two interval. So I know this isn't horseshoes or darts or whatever, but that's a pretty interesting near miss. Considering that any given Venus interval um, occurs for 146 days once every eight years. So you're talking about a very small window of time. There are 20 Venus intervals. They repeat every eight years. Um, they're each, you know, only a few months long. And so for all those different events to correspond to the timeline of a given individual's life is remarkable. And this is one of the first steps you take when you're rectifying someone's chart, when you're trying to determine their birth time, is get a sense of how their life plays out according to the planetary synodic cycles. You can do it with Venus, you can do it with Mars. Different people's charts respond to different planets in different ways. But this is the first step. This is how you do it. All right, that's it for me. I'll see you tomorrow.